I added Andrea Moda to F1 2022, put all the settings to automatic and simulated 10 years. Can one of the worst teams in Formula One history win a championship in the modern day? Stay tuned to find out. My name is Chris. Welcome back to CF Racing and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, what's going on? Chris here, otherwise known as CF Racing, and we're back with some more 10 year simulations. And today, this is probably the most requested simulation that I've gotten on my channel, and it's Andrea Moda. You guys, if you guys are in my Discord, you would know that everybody wants Andrea Moda, or everyone wanted me to simulate Andrea Moda, and I was, I was putting it off just a little bit, let's be honest. But now, the Formula One season is back in full effect, and why not kick off the simulations with one of the worst teams in Formula One history, Andrea Moda. I don't even think they qualify for majority of the races that they were even in but I do want to say if you guys are new here and enjoy simulation content like this hit that like button subscribe share with your friends join the discord link is in the description huge shout out to gigs or gig I don't know if I'm really bad at pronouncing names jigs I don't know for 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 simulating today's video he did a great job simulating Andrea Moda also for this simulation the lead driver for all 10 years why the heck not we're gonna go with Nikita Mazepin because he is one of the absolute ghosts and I'm sure he'll win a championship for Andrea Moda they're just looking absolutely fantastic already and the uh, and the first driver Andrea Moda is gonna have is going to be at Teo Porsche because who doesn't like a good rookie in a brand new Formula One team that never really performed in their life anywho I also decided to do 10 race seasons for this simulation as back in the 90s, whenever Andrea Moda was a team, there weren't really that many races in the season. So let's make it realistic to them. So that being said, enjoy the simulation and let's get into 2022. In 2022, Carlos Sainz wins his first ever World Drivers' Championship, actually beating Charles Leclerc as he took six wins on the year, 222 points to finish P1. Once again, I want to reiterate, it is a 10-race calendar, so things do get kind of crazy sometimes. Charles Leclerc finished P2 with two wins, 178 points. Max Verstappen had one win, 156 points to finish P3. George Russell had one win, 85 points, finished P6. Nikita Mazepin had a 23 points points finished P9 and Teo Porsche had zero points and finished P22. Ferrari won their first constructors title since 2008 followed by Red Bull P2, Mercedes P3, McLaren P4, Alpine P5, Alfa Romeo P6, Haas P7, Andrea Moda P8 in their first season not bad, Alfa Tauri P9, Williams P10 and Aston Martin in dead last. In the driver transfer market Valtteri Bottas decides to retire and Felipe Drugovich goes to Alfa Romeo and in terms of regulation changes going into 2023 there is a regulation change to the chassis and durability department in 2023 Charles Leclerc wins his first world drivers championship as he takes six wins on the year 212 points to finish P1 Carlos Sainz takes two wins 168 points to finish P2 Lando Norris takes one win 154 points to finish P3 good season from McLaren Max Verstappen takes 133 points to finish P4 Daniel Ricciardo takes one win, 89 points to finish P5. Nikita Mazepin scores zero points along with Teo Porcher. They finish P19 and P22 for a rough season for Andrea Moda. Ferrari win their second consecutive constructors title followed by McLaren P2, Red Bull P3, Mercedes P4, Alpine P5, Alfa Tauri P6, Alfa Romeo P7, Haas P8, Williams P9, Aston Martin P10, and Andrea Moda in dead. Last, in terms of transfers, Sebastian Vettel decides to retire from Formula One. Oscar Piastri goes to Aston Martin, and there is a regulation change to the power and aero departments. In 2024, Charles Leclerc wins his second consecutive World Drivers Championship as he takes five wins on the year, 223 points to finish P1. Carlos Sainz takes two wins, 175 points to finish P2. Lando Norris takes three wins, 165 points to finish P3. Nikita Mazepin takes zero points to finish P7 and Teo Porsche scores zero points and finishes P22. Ferrari win their third consecutive constructors title followed by McLaren P2, Haas somehow move up to P3, Red Bull P4, Mercedes P5, Williams P6, Alfa Tauri P7, Alpine P8, Alfa Romeo P9, Andrea Moda up into 10th and Aston Martin are in dead 
last. In the driver transfer market, Lewis Hamilton retires from Formula One. That moves Teo Porsche to Mercedes, and Richard Fashore goes to Andrea Moda. And heading into 2025, there is no regulation change. In 2025, we have a new world driver's champion as Lando Norris wins his first ever as he takes six wins on the air, 210 points to finish P1. Daniel Ricciardo is still with McLaren. He takes four wins, 198 points to finish P2. He made it quite close with Lando this season. Nikita Mazepin and Vershore both score zero points. They finish P20 and P22. McLaren win their first title since the 90s, followed by Ferrari P2. Mercedes move up to P3. Red Bull at P4. They're just kind of mid in this simulation. I don't really know what's going on. Williams are up into P5. That's insane. Um, Alpha Tauri at P6. Haas P7. Alpine at P8. Alfa Romeo at P9. Aston Martin P10. And Andrea Moda sadly dropped to dead last. There are no regulation changes. There are, there are no driver transfers, and there is a regulation change to the durability department. In 2026, Lando wins his second consecutive World Drivers Championship as he takes six wins, 202 points he scored, and he finishes P1. Daniel Ricciardo takes three wins, 168 points to finish P2. Carlos Sainz takes one win, 141 points to finish P3. He's actually really surprising me in this simulation. Nikita Mazepin and Vershore both score zero points. They finish P20 and P22. McLaren win their second consecutive Constructors title with Ferrari P2, Red Bull P3, Alpha Tauri P4. Looks like the Red Bull teams are having a comeback. Mercedes P5, Will McLaren P6, Haas P6, Williams P7, Alpine P8, Alfa Romeo P9, Aston Martin P10, and Andrea Moda in dead last. In the driver transfer market, Sergio Perez retires from Formula One. Teo Porsche goes to Red Bull. Richard Vershore goes to Mercedes. Liam Lawson goes to Andrea Moda. And there is a regulation change, a major regulation change, to aero, chassis, and power, which will likely shake up the grid for 2027. In 2027, Lando Norris still on top in Formula One as he takes seven wins, 227 points to finish P1. Gasly takes two wins, 191 points to finish P2. And Daniel Ricciardo takes one win, 111 points, but he finishes P4. McLaren win their third Constructors title of the simulation, followed by Alpha Tauri P2. Haas are up into P3. Ferrari P4. Williams up into P5. Red Bull in P6. Mercedes in P7. Alpine P8. Andrea Moda move up to P9. Alfa Romeo P10. And Aston Martin in dead last. And sadly, there are no driver transfers or regulation changes heading into 2028. In 2028, Lando Norris wins his fourth consecutive World Drivers Championship. He's basically pulling a Seb right now. He takes six wins on the year, 185 points to finish P1. Max Verstappen it takes two wins, 141 points to finish P2. Carlos Sainz takes one win, 98 points, finishes P4. And Teo Porsche takes a win, 96 points, he finishes P5. McLaren win their fourth consecutive Constructors title with Red Bull P2, Ferrari P3, Alpha Tauri P4, Alpine P5, Haas P6, Andrea Moda move up to P7, good for them. Mercedes down into P8, Williams a P9, Alfa Romeo P10, and Aston Martin in dead last. Pierre Gasly decides to retire from Formula 1. That moves Felipe Drogovic to Alpha Tauri. Liam Lawson goes to Alpha Romeo. Zhou Guangyu goes to Alpine. And Richard Vershore also goes to Alpha Romeo. And heading into 2029, there is no regulation change. In 2029, Lando Norris wins his fifth consecutive World Drivers Championship. He takes four wins on the year. This is pretty close. 194 points to finish P1. Charles Leclerc takes two wins, 134 points to finish P2. Carlos Sainz takes one win 109 points finishes p3 max verstappen it takes two wins 102 points finishes p4 and nikita mazepin actually won a race he scored 100 points he finished p5 that's crazy mclaren win their fifth consecutive constructors title followed by ferrari p2 andrea moda move up four spots to finish p3 red bull finish p4 mercedes p5 alpine p6 alpha tauri p7 Haas p8 Alfa Romeo P9, Aston Martin P10, and Williams in dead last. And after winning five consecutive World Drivers Championships, Lando Norris retires from Formula 1 for some reason. That moves Yuki Sonoda to McLaren, Oscar Piastri to Alfa Tauri, Yuri Vips to Aston Martin, Kevin Magnussen goes to Andrea Moda, Carlos Sainz goes to Haas, Daniel Ricciardo goes to Ferrari, Nicholas Latifi.
Latifi also goes to McLaren, and Enzo Fittipaldi goes to Alfa Romeo. And heading into 2030, there is a regulation change to the aero and durability department. In 2030, I can't believe this happened, but Nikita Mazepin wins his first ever World Drivers Championship as he takes three wins on the year, 121 points, and finishes P1. Andrea Moda on top, that's what we like to see. Charles Leclerc takes one win, 116 points, finishes P2. Max Verstappen takes two wins, 107 points, finishes P3. Teo Porsche takes two wins, 102 points, finishes P4. Kevin Magnussen takes one win, 101 points, finishes P5. And Carlos Sainz takes one win, 68 points, and finishes P7. Andrea Moda are not last anymore. They win their first ever World Constructors Championship, followed up by Red Bull P2, Ferrari P3, Haas P4, M McLaren P5. They really fell off after losing Norris and Ricardo. M Mercedes P6, Alpha Tauri P7, Alpine P8, Alfa Romeo P9, Aston Martin P10, and Williams once again are in dead last. In the driver transfer market, Carlos Sainz goes to McLaren, Lance Stroll goes to Haas, and Nicholas Latifi goes to Aston Martin. And heading into the final season of 2030, there is a regulation change to the power and chassis departments. And in 2031, Carlos Sainz is on top again as he wins his second World Drivers' Championship of the simulation as he takes four wins, 164 points, and finishes P1. Yuki Tsunoda takes two wins, 134 points, finishes P2. Kevin Magnussen takes two wins, 110 points, and finishes P3. Max Verstappen takes 103 points, one win, and finishes P4. And Nikita Mazepin takes one win, 93 points, finishes P6. McLaren win their sixth Constructors' Championship of the simulation, followed by Andrea Moda P2, Red Bull P3, Ferrari P4, Haas P5, Mercedes P6, Alpine P7, Alpha Tauri P8, Williams P9, Aston Martin P10, and Alfa Romeo in a dead last. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this simulation. If there's other teams you guys want to see me simulate, let me know in the comments section down below. Also, join my Discord to... Also, join the Discord to talk with other Formula 1 fans just like all you guys. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.